I've already got the back tarp on, or over it anyways. I'm gonna get this one on here next. Get this load tarped up. I want some overlap here with this one. This should be good. I wanna make sure that it overlaps that as well on the front. Because this front tarp is only going to go up to the end of this. I'm gonna have to try and keep this tarp on top of that yet. So I think I'm gonna actually pull it a little further this way for now, just to make sure that we don't slip off of that. Get on up here. And readjust it once we have it over the load and get it where we want it then. Okay, one more. Okay. Grab this thing here. And up we go. Up, up and away. Tarping all day. Snow hasn't started yet, but it's supposed to start any time now, so I'm trying to get out of here. It's already feeling like snow outside. It's getting pretty cold. Is it going over the top? Just barely, eh? Okay. I wanna go and adjust that real quick. I wanna make sure that the, the other end of the tarp stays on top of that upper level. Cause it'll be hard to get it back up there if it doesn't. This just has to stay up here. Ugh, like that. There we go. Okay. It wants to slide that way, that's the problem. There we go. I'm just gonna hold this here. There, I think we're good. How's it looking on this side? It's looking good. Very nice having a tarping building like this. I'm sure it was very expensive for them to set up for us and I really appreciate it. Okay, there we go. one then I just gotta bungee it all down and go home before the snowstorm hits well we're finally getting going and the snow has arrived so glad that I rushed to get here at the time I did because I think they stopped loading trucks now I was one of the last guys to get loaded. So this is just the start of it up here. It's supposed to get a lot worse overnight. So I'm taking this trailer home. And we'll leave with it uh, Sunday. It'll be a delivery first thing Monday morning. I need to do is get home now. About 100 kilometers. 
So what I'm doing is I got my windows both open and I got the defrost off. I got the heat going just to the floor. What that's gonna do is it's gonna keep me warm. The, the, the heat's gonna come over my feet, keep my feet warm and come up by here, but my windshield is gonna stay cool. When you keep your windshield cold, the snow just bounces off and then it doesn't melt and then ice up your winter blades, or I mean your wiper blades. They are winter blades though. That's the strategy I use during storms anyways. It, it gets a little chilly in here, so you gotta drive with a sweater on, but you keep the cab or the, at least the dashboard and the windshield here cold, as cold as possible, and only have heat going to the floor. That way you don't gotta worry about, see it's still sticking a little bit to my windshield there. Just cause I, uh, I had it all heated up before when I was tarping. Oh, this is a sketchy corner, especially in winter time. Can't see anybody coming that way. Can't see anybody coming that way. I don't see anyone. You just sort of got to send it and uh, put your four ways on once you get on here and just pray everyone's paying attention when they come whipping around that corner and not going too fast. Man, this is getting pretty bad. Eesh. Good thing I'm, I've got a lot of weight on me now, eh? I got lots of traction.
Ah, something's going on. We've been stopped here for about 15 minutes. Emergency wow. services are just getting here now. There's one guy with his radio on, but he's not of any use. What was that a fire truck? They're going past. I thought the accident was down the hill here because this, why are we all stopped here? We're stopped at the top of the hill here and top of the hill over there. I don't know where those guys are going. Something's happening. I hope we get moving soon. I hope everyone's all right. We're at the corner, uh, right at the corner. We're at the Manitoba, Ontario border. We're just into Manitoba. Another ambulance. Firefighters here. We got the police down there now. Hopefully these firefighters will come and let us know what's going on and when they think we might be moving. I don't know where the accident is. It's got to be at the bottom of the... There's a little hill here. We just passed the scale coming into Manitoba. It's right there behind me. It's, but the cops are going past here too. So where is the accident? Mounties just got here. And I'm not really surprised. I just about got run off the road, like just a few miles back as well. This one truck didn't know where the road was, obviously. He came like straight at me. I just made it past him, and he like, he almost hit the ditch on my side of the road. Like, but the, it was clear where the ditches were. I don't know what he was. Did he fall asleep? How do you fall asleep in weather like this? Yeah, hopefully he didn't cause an accident behind me somewhere, but now I'm stuck here until until this all gets cleared up. Really quite the bummer because I was so close to home. I just wanted to go home to avoid this exact thing. But the police are here now, so maybe the police will start directing traffic through there, hopefully. So what do you do when uh, you're stuck on the highway in a snowstorm? You make yourself a peanut butter and honey sandwich. It makes me feel better. Hmm. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's good. So uh, one of the guys came up here and told us what's going on. No accident. Thank, thank goodness. I guess the emergency guys were called, uh, well, they came in just in case. The police are here to direct traffic because we got miles of backup behind us already. This is the one highway across Canada. It's the only way you can get east to west, so there's there's a huge backup. No accident. Uh, just a couple of drivers. Probably a rookie. Slowed down on the uphill. Came to a stop. Stuck right there. Spun out. So, uh, a teaching lesson would be I know it's kind of it sounds kind of weird but when it's snowing and the roads are slippery you don't want to go slow up the hill you want to go fast up the hill you want momentum don't slow down on the uphill this is this will happen and then you got a big kerfluffle with a lot of people affected because now the whole road is blocked but uh, they're gonna get them out of the way right away we should be going soon but my advice to you I've been driving since 2006, so I think I'm almost at the point where I can give advice and you can take me serious. Almost. Get some good momentum going up the hill. You don't have to go like a bazooka out of the... You don't gotta, you don't gotta go like NASCAR up the hill. You want a good bunch of momentum, especially if you don't have a lot of weight on your truck. If you don't have a load. Oh yeah, they got people moving through here now. Good. Uh, right, fast up the hill, but slow down the hill. You want to go down really slow. You want to be able to stop if something happens in front of you. But up the hill, you need to get momentum. So also, you can take this as a piece of advice for if you're driving a car and you got a truck behind you, and you see him speeding up behind you before a hill, that's because he wants to get that momentum. If you can, and if it's safe to do so, don't slow down on the uphill, okay? Let's get some momentum going up the hill. At the top, make sure you slow down and then go, which, Sometimes I get it, that just doesn't work. Because people at the top of the hill are slowing down to go down the hill, right? People coming up the hill are going fast to get up the hill. Eventually, 
everything's gonna be jammed up. So really, you sort of just gotta play it by ear. It doesn't always work that way. You can't always go fast up the hill. But uh, you've gotta keep in mind though, if you're empty, maybe if you see a hill coming, give some space, let off, let the other cars get up the hill, and then you ever get up that hill, and then slow down and come down. You know what I mean? You don't have to listen to me. But if you're wondering what you should have to eat right now, I know you're hungry. Peanut butter and honey sandwich. And don't go cheap on the honey, okay? Very important. Man, that's good. And let the honey, give the honey time to soak into the bread too. So you make the sandwich and you put the honey on the bottom and you get let it sit for like five minutes. Let it soak into the bread. You can thank me later. Oh, oh, oh. Things are moving now. Oh, boy. They've got the eastbound lane open now. I'm guessing they're going to escort us through next. They had the RCMP escorting them that way. Continue on this road for 40 kilometers. Karen, calm down. I know. I want to go home, too. Why would you... Why does she randomly do that? Does your GPS do that too? Just randomly start talking for no reason? I've been sitting here for like two hours. She's still talking to me. Well, we're still here. I think this is our escort coming on the left here. He just finished escorting eastbound to the Ontario border. I think he's gonna pull in front of us now and let us go. Please. Come on. Come on. Oh, now there's a tow truck coming here too. What in the world? I'm so confused. I have no idea what's going on. Nothing makes sense. I think that cop's gonna let us, let us through. I think he's gonna lead us through. Maybe not. I have no idea. No idea. I know eastbound is open now anyway. I don't know why they're not letting us go westbound. Just want to give a quick shout out to Evan from Champion Towing. He's the guy who was getting this all cleared up here. And apparently, you watch my videos. They were just finishing up and he saw me and he was uh, just leaving, I guess, here. He said he's going back in Ontario. That's where he's uh, based for the winter. And uh, <laughs> he pulled over and he walked across here to say hi to me. He says that everything's cleared up, that we should be moving in a few minutes or so. They're just... Uh, finishing up a few things so I got the inside scoop from him the benefits of being on YouTube <laughs> now I know what's going on but uh, shout out to you Evan that, that was uh, nice to meet you thanks for cleaning this up otherwise I would have been here all weekend <laughs> I want to go home so thanks we're moving Woo! so I'm letting traffic get a little bit ahead of me here like I said, I'm going to want a little bit of momentum to get up that hill. They have been sanding and salting. I got a heavy load behind me. I shouldn't have a problem. I shouldn't spin out. Here we go. I know you can't see much on the video right now. You'll just have to trust me. It feels good to be moving. Here we go. Let's get up this hill. Back up on this side. Thanks. And it's already been going for about a mile or two. This vlog's already pretty long, so I can't show you the whole thing. This is what happens when you shut down the one road that goes from east to west in Canada. Just for a couple of hours. got to know some of the people in the lineup there a little bit while I was waiting. Vehicle in front of me there, that guy's Jim. Same story as me. 
saw the storm coming and was trying to beat it. We almost made it. Now we're just trying to get through this section of bad weather. And hopefully I can make it all the way home yet. We're all moving along at 50 kilometers an hour, about 35 miles an hour. Well, I'm gonna need to pick it up a little bit. Hopefully it clears up a little bit so I can do that. But uh, for now, I don't wanna rush the guys in front of me. You know, nobody wants to be the next reason for a highway block. I know I don't wanna be. Wonderful, right? It follows me everywhere. You know, this bad weather is turning into kind of a stalker for me. Everywhere I go. We made it. Good job, Old Blue, you did great. Me, well, my patience was so thin I couldn't even see it anymore. It was, oh my, all the way from the Ontario border to the 12th. That's uh, usually about an hour and a half drive. But, you know, the weather was kind of bad, as you, as you can see. But uh, hey, at least we arrived safe, hey? I guess it's better than... Oh man, some of those guys though, because you got that person in front of me going way too slow, and I thought it was, I, it was way too dangerous to pass, so I just stayed behind them, right? But there was like four, five, or six trucks, semi-trucks, blowing past people, pushing through about two feet of snow in the passing lane, blinding everybody just because they were getting impatient, blowing past people. And then uh, one, one of the trucks got sucked into the ditch. We saw his tracks go in there. Luckily for him, he was able to get it back out and back on the road. And you wanna be, you wanna play those games. There's families in these vehicles around us. Like the car that was going so slow at the front, driving me nuts. But I'm sure it was like a young mother and her child, or maybe it was a pregnant woman. If that was my wife, who's pregnant, if that was my pregnant wife and there was trucks blowing past them, on the snow, pushing, trying to push her into the ditch, leaving her in a whiteout because they were getting impatient. Man, I'd have a different kind of record. I would, what is wrong with people? You're supposed to act on the road like the people around you are your loved ones and your family. How would you feel if someone would do that to your wife and kids? If they were driving? If you wouldn't like that, you shouldn't do it either. Anyways, enough ranting about that. That got me so upset. But here we go. I thought of it after I got it in here. Maybe I should have knocked some of the snow off outside so that I don't have to squeegee it out of here in the morning. But it's too late now. I can't go outside. There's, I literally, I had to make tracks into my shop with my pickup truck in the snow so that I could get this in without getting stuck. There's two feet of snow outside that door there. It goes up to here. Oh. I can't show you outside the shop, but uh, it goes up to about here, that first notch there. That's how deep the snow is outside that door. <laughs> I had a lot of trouble detaching the trailer, but we got her, got her detached, and we got all blue in the shop. So now, let's get our stuff out of here. It's already 11 o'clock now. There goes my weekend again, well, my Friday, Friday. That's okay. That's trucking, right? Trucking in the winter time. The winter time is very expensive. But I'm okay. Hey, tomorrow's another day. We're gonna have some fun. No trucking tomorrow, okay? No trucking. I've had enough trucking for a while. 
we're just going to stay at home and, I don't know, build a snowman or something. Ugh, I don't care. Anything but trucking for the next two days. Have a good one, everybody. Give a thumbs up for that snowstorm. Give a thumbs up for old Blue. Look at what she puts up with. Look at this.